hey what is up everybody my name is rahul and in this video we will be looking at a challenge called torrent analyze so this is day third of the challenge being live and it's got about 148 solves now the challenge description says that sos someone is torrenting on our network one of your colleagues has been using torrent to download some files on the company's company's network can you identify the files that were downloaded now this was the first time i was playing uh, uh going through a file that was using uh, that was a backup capture of torrent so in a way let's just look what can we expect from it so if i were to type in ls you'll get a file called torrent.pcap you can either use wget or just click on the download button to download it so let's just go through the strings first that'll help you a lot so sometimes i've found uh flags right by going through the strings now if you go through the strings you'll see that you don't get anything exceptionally that stands out that would help you uh, find the proper or give you a flag or give you a hint anything of that sort so let's just do one thing let's just search for pico again you'll see that it says pattern not found now what do i do let's just keep it aside for a while now and let's just hop on to wireshark to look at the um, packet captures now if you see here let's just go through the protocols but before i do that one of the things that we need to look for is the file format and the flag format if you see here what we can do is the file name will be the flag like pico ctf file name so all we have to do here is look for the file name so uh, there is a thing called file and go to export objects now if you go here and look at the options that are available you might find the file that was exported now if you see here you can't do that because there was no file exported as such uh, that appears to be http or other of any other protocol so at this point i was i got i got stuck now what to do i went through all of the udb packets remind you i've gone through each and every packet but i couldn't find anything that could you know give me a hint that okay this is the file i went through all the tcp packets but then i had to go through the hints the first hint says open it in wireshark on wire in wireshark now the second hint said that you may want to enable a bit torrent protocol now uh, it was by default open on mine but it might not have been on yours because I might have uh, played with it uh, before. So uh, all you have to do is go to analyze display filters. Sorry about that. Uh, where is it? Enable protocols. I'm sorry. Uh, enable protocols and then look for BitTorrent. So what I did here was I enabled each and every one of them. So there we go. Okay. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of product protocols. So let's just go through the hints again. You need to understand peers, leeches and seeds that I do not need as of now because I was able to solve without it. But I did, however, go through the article. It is a fantastic article that explains what are peers, leeches and seeds. And the file name ends with an ISO. Now that's a hint. The file name might end up with an ISO. So I, I have pressed control F and look, just look for ISO. As you can see, it does give us a, uh, a few chunks here and there about ISOs. Uh, let's just click on find again. Again, it gives us a hint on ISO. But again, this won't take you anywhere because at the end, what is happening here is it's just looking for ISO. Nothing, no file name, anything. You might not be able to find it, but what you have to do is you need to just play around with the filters. By default, it is package, packet list. You need to go to packet bytes to, you know, uh, narrow down your search. But again, this won't work. This didn't work so what is the next thing that you can do so the next thing that you can do is look for you need to try to look for filters that can you know so that you can segregate traffic because you can go through the entire udb uh, traffic but you'll not find anything at all so let's just go to bt dht so this is the traffic that we want now why do we want this traffic first of all the reason is there is a, a file that is being sent after a particular interval or, or whenever you start your uh, whenever you start to download things using torrent there's a file that is being downloaded or that is being sent so that it tells you which file to download from the internet or from the peers as to say and we are looking for that file so let's just see where we can we get it but before that let me give you a small hint that was able to that i was able to use that made it easier for me now if you see here this is the entire strings dump and there is a uh, website being used which is called torrent.ubuntu.com so if i go to the site you will see something and you'll see that 
all the files there are nothing but ISO files. So how do you define a file or how do you find a file that is ISO? As you can see, all the files are ISOs here. So you will have a pretty hard time trying to brute force the file names. So what do you do now? Again, you'll see that there is a size parameter and there is an info hash parameter. Now you'll not be able to find size because I did look for the size parameter here. If I type uh, size, you'll not be able to find anything as you can see here. So next, what was the thing left with me? The only thing left to do here was info hash. But if you try to find it, you'll see that you get nothing. So what do I do? I try to play around with it. And if I were to type in underscore hash, you'll see that uh, there is something called info hash. I did not try to brute force. I'm telling you that I went through each and every UDP packet and that is how I got it. So now what is happening here is there is something called an info hash. So this got me wondering what if, what if this info hash or in the file that was pertaining to, I could, you know, try to link it them in some way. So for example, if this is the info hash of one of the packets, maybe I'll try to copy it and I'll try to find it. But as you can see, it did not, uh, it does not give us a hint directly. So what I, what did I do? I went through all the packets. You can try to script it out, but I'm not a great fan of uh, T Shark, but I'll have to learn how to use T Shark. That might have made this job a, but a lot easier. So what did I do? I went through each and every packets and was I, I was looking for the info hash until and unless I came across one that was this. It this was the info hash that I looked for and to make it a bit easier. Let's just see if we can find it. No, we cannot directly look here. So what did I do? I went through each and every one of them and I looked for the info hashes and one info hash came out to be this. What I was doing is essentially I was copying all the info hashes from here and I was pasting it on Google to see if a hit was there. And eventually I came across this one in the in the dump and I pasted it here and I got the hit as this. And this was the flag. So all I had to do was wrap it around here, Pico CTF and copy this ISO. And that is how I got the flag. I'm sorry, I should have uh, done this. And that is how I got the flag. So thank you guys. This is it for the video.